Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Train of Thought. My name is Trey, and this is where I share my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets. So today was an exciting day. Um, it was a day, uh, as I, I heard um, somebody on, on Winnipeg, on, or on, on TSN 1290 in Winnipeg say, um, is good news for Jets fans, so it has, we've been waiting for, for good news for a little while. Um, not really the, the news that we expected, but uh, good good news nonetheless, uh, and that is with Josh Morrissey signing uh, an eight-year extension. Um, so very happy for Josh, happy for the, the team as they, they lock up a solid young player who um, – still is you know growing into his skill set and this is also um, showing to have um, great character great great leadership abilities um, doing a lot of great things in the community as Kevin Day off the GM was saying um, so a great deal um, and that, that's exciting as since that extension doesn't start until next year uh, he is now locked up for nine seasons um, which is awesome. So, um, just a, a, a few thoughts regarding, um, Josh, the, the defense, the, the, the team in general, I, I think this is great to add some stability. Um, I also think it's, it's a huge boost for the D yes. Um, he was going to be a part of the, the D, but just knowing that they have him there. Um, knowing that he can provide leadership as he's one of the, besides uh, Big Buff, he is the, um, one of the core, um, or he, yeah, he, he and Buff are, are the, the vets on um, the, the blue line. So that's awesome. Um, and I know there's been a lot of talk. I'm hearing it pretty much everywhere, but oh man, this defense, they lost so many key players. They, they lost Drew, but they lost Tyler Myers. They lost Ben Sherrod. My thought is they weren't that great last year. With all due respect, um, there's a lot of leads that were blown at the end of the, the game. And um, if, if you want me to name examples, I mean, we'll look at, I think it was like twice against the Wild that that happened. Um, San Jose game, um, I think it was... February, uh, they had one against the Islanders. A lot of these games are at home too, which makes them stand out. They had playoff games. I think it was game one and game five where they um, blew leads late in the third period. So no offense against the, the guys that left or some of the guys that are returning. You know, I've just been bragging on Josh Morrissey. Um, I... I think it's about solidifying the the system that they they want to play and having guys buy in, and when you got a lot of young guys that are eager for a chance and and hoping to get, um, you know their their feet wet, I think they're going to be a little bit more more prone to buy in. And I'm not saying that Truba or Sharat or Myers weren't. Um, it, it's just I I think that the, these guys. Um, want to buy in and they also want to um, play better and, and show better there, there's going to be competition which competition is great because it promotes you to do your best so um, I am uh, I'm excited I know a lot of people feel nervous and a lot of people maybe in in the Winnipeg media or even um, nationally it seems like the national vibe is oh man this Jets defense is weakened it's not like they were the number one defense in the league last year. And I know Hellebuck is is eager to um, get back. He wasn't awful last year, but he wasn't where he was the year before. So I know he's excited to try and regain some of that form that he had in the 2017-18 um, season. So um, that's just just some of my thoughts on, on where, we're, or where the, the Jets are at. I'm excited. There's going to be a lot more news as um, training camp is started. There's been a lot of player interviews. Um, I, I might want to do a video on um, Blake Wheeler. He did an interview which really stood out to me. Um, love that guy. Love his character and, and his leadership and where his priorities were. 
or R. So I might want to do a leader or a, a video on that. So um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't be afraid to like and subscribe. And I will look forward to talking to you guys soon.